Well, amalgam fillings are at least 50% mercury, the rest is silver, tin, zinc. And what we are told is that when it's in your mouth, it stays there, it's inert, and nothing happens. Right. Now, that would be really good if it's like that. We had a mercury vapor measure device in one of the practices, and we had to look what's really happening to those fillings. So when the patient came for their initial consultation, we then put that lead of the measurement into the mouth. When we didn't do anything on the filling, there were hardly anything coming out, but yeah. as soon as we rubbed the tooth... So like brushing your teeth, basically. Exactly. Right. Then this shot up. Now, to put that into perspective, the maximum allowance in the workspace in the UK is 20 microgram per cubic meter. When we rubbed the teeth, some teeth, they showed up to 50, some mm. to 70, 150, 400, 70, 100, and... So that way beyond the, the safe... Way beyond right this safe measurement. And if we then think how often do we brush the teeth, or even when we chew or grind our teeth and the fillings come together, then this releases. It also releases amalgam or mercury vapor when you have dissimilar metals in your mouth. Right. So let's say you have a gold crown, and that could be a, a metal-bonded crown, so it has a core of gold alloy, and on top of that is the ceramic. If you have dissimilar metals in your mouth, then you create a current. So it's, it's like a battery effect. Mm. So from the amalgam fillings, then you have the saliva, and you have the more precious material. So there is a flow from the dissimilar metal the amalgam to the goal.